Hey there, everybody. Jimmy G here uh, doing the blues rock, the black and blues rocker bobber project, the motorcycle. Um, just a quick video on something cool that I did with the sissy bar. And I should have started this video before I even started on this project, but I've never done a vinyl wrap before. So uh, I, I was kind of a little bit leery about trying to film the first thing and trying to do it at the same time. So uh, I figured, what the heck, I'm just going to make a video of the end result, and here it is. What I decided, since my uh, my motorcycle is a uh, guitar, blues rock, rock and roller type of bobber, bobber project, uh, the idea was to go with a guitar neck as the sissy bar, and this is the end result. Now... Uh, first time wrapping anything with vinyl wrap, there's a couple of crude little parts that uh, didn't come out as best as possible. There's a little crease here and there's a little crease there. Uh, but you know what? I mean, it, the whole thing is, is my license plate and uh, rear tail light configuration is going to cover that up. So it's not that bad. It's not that critical. The neck turned out really nice. Uh, getting into the headstock, there was a little chip out of the headstock that I should have filled in, but I didn't. Uh, learned real quickly that, uh, yeah, if you have any dust, if you don't clean properly, a little crap like that shows up. But once again, first time doing a vinyl wrap, uh, I'm pretty pleased with how everything came out. Uh, the hardest part was this right at the top of the headstock of the guitar neck. Um, what I did is I took the whole piece of vinyl... Uh, I did this in two stages, so let me explain. Um, the first part, I did the back, so I cut a sheet that was maybe about another inch and a half, two inches out this way, and then I measured it all the way down to about two inches at the end. Uh, on the side, I came out at least two or three inches on both sides, so I had a full wrap around and lots of material to work with, and then I laid that strip right across from head to toe and I started working at the heel of the neck wrapping and then going right down and slowly starting to uh, get this to adhese. Um, once again I've never done a wrap before thank God for YouTube videos because at least I found out how to work with a heat gun which is an art in itself to get this to bend into the curves and down here at the heel once again, I should have done this a little bit better, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, so that's the end of it. Now, I, and in true tradition here, I used the uh, tuning pegs. I put tuning pegs back on this neck to give the whole sissy bar a little bit more of an authentic feel. And here's what it looks like from the top. So we've got this. I left the fretboard as is so you know it gives it that whole rock and roll guitar feel the only thing that i'm not really happy about right in here and if you're not familiar with guitars this is what's called the truss rod hole <clears throat> and i debated on whether i should have opened that up and sealed that in or just left it sealed as is uh, for now i'm just going to leave it sealed as is not really happy on that look but once again you know it's, it's uh it achieved what it's supposed to achieve, and this is probably about as good as it's going to get. Um, my second thing is, everybody asked me, and especially uh, the people that told me I shouldn't do it because it was too hard, which is bull BS. Um, it's time intensive, but it's not really all that hard. My big thing was is that I thought if this wrap idea doesn't look as good as I wanted it to, um, you know, I just peel it off and decide to paint it but I like how it turned out so getting back to the two-piece situation piece one was this full neck length piece two was the actual headstock once again I cut a piece that was uh, about down to here and out to here out to here and out to here so I could totally wrap it right over top and then this is really where the heat gun uh, talent comes in because you heat and then you've got to start curving and then bending and stretching and getting this to go all the way around this idea. Now this piece here is actually this my second attempt. This is not the first attempt because the first attempt ended up being just a disaster. So what I had to do is that I recut a piece once again down to about here, 
out to here, out to here. But then I really extended it back and then wrapped right over this headstock underneath and started at the top. Now, as you can see, the top of it, yeah, I mean, there's there's probably way better wraps and I could have done a better job, but this is as good as I, I could get it. Um, I should have worked with it a little bit more, but what the heck, I just want to get this thing on the road. It's already April 3rd of 2022 and I want to get riding. So, I mean, my, my big thing is, is that I could always peel that piece off and do another strip uh, to make it better. But for now, first attempt, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'd love to, uh, you guys definitely subscribe to my uh, channel. I, um, l give me a thumbs up on this video if you like what I've done. Hopefully it helps you out. And uh, definitely leave your comments below um, about what you think about this guitar neck idea and the job that I did with the vinyl wrap for being a first timer. The final thing that I did do, realizing that once I started stripping this off and kind of trimming this up a little bit better, is that I had some wood starting to show up. So what I did is I got some spray paint with a real close color that I had in the uh, garage, uh, a blue color, and then I went in and I just started dabbing along where the wood was kind of showing through and I had cut the vinyl a little too close to the edge just to trim that up. So there you have it guys and gals. Um, yes, you can pretty much vinyl wrap anything and this is the guitar neck for the blues rock bobber and I think it's going to look pretty cool. All right, subscribe, like, and comment below. Thanks.